a major contributor to consumer price inflation, currently weighted at 26.713%, is owner's equivalent rent. The name itself describes a fictional expense since owners of homes do not pay rent to themselves. I built my home that I now live in in 1982 and have yet to pay rent to myself. I built this home using cash because mortgage rates then were at 16% with points on top of that. The government's uh, calculation of owner's equivalent rent does not use inflation in home prices but in rents. There is a considerable lag in the calculation since rents typically roll over only on an annual basis. The lag is further increased by the government sampling rent prices at six-month intervals and then using a rolling six-month average. This pretend expense that is not actually paid by any homeowner has been a major contributor to reported CPI numbers and has remained elevated due to the long lag period in using rather than using more current numbers. What renters actually pay to live in apartments is separate and generally weighted at close to 8%. The last reported annual increase in owner's equivalent rent was 5.9% through March of 2024 when the government last reported that number. Even though the apartment rents are trending slightly down, the annual uh, owner's equivalent rent increase has been slowly decreasing. In June of 2023, the annual increase was at 7.8% and had fallen to 6.4% by December 2023. So the March number at at an annual increase of 5.9%, at least it's going in the a direction that is somewhat closer to what is actually the rent increases being and pay, paid by apartment dwellers as a national median uh, average. Rent inflation, as I said, has already decreased some, but that is not yet reflected in the BLS numbers uh, for owner's equivalent rent because of, of the lag. In my last uh, post published yesterday, I referred to the apartment list national rent report. They can be found online by Googling that phrase. Medium rents are down 0.8% year over year and have been in negative territory since the 2023 summer. The website has a chart showing the substantial increase in apartment rents starting in 2021 to the 2023 summer. A continued decrease can be expected, and within eight months to a year, the owner's equivalent rent number may even be negative, a negative contributor to inflation. All of this has some minor impact on what I'm going to be doing in the next several months when I decide how to allocate uh, my, uh, my portfolio. Um, I will, if, if this trend in, in inflation uh, continues to come down, I will start to buy more longer-term maturity treasury bills, treasury notes, and corporate bonds. An example would be to increase my purchases of the one-year treasury bill, which is auctioned every month, and the two-year treasury note from the current 2000 into each one of those uh, to 5000 and then to buy more investment-grade corporate bonds maturing in 2026 and 2027. The one-year treasury bill auction is next Wednesday, and I will only be buying 2000 in principal amount. Uh, I, I am still reluctant to uh, allocate more money to longer-term maturities because of the trend in month-to-month -month inflation numbers, which has been going higher. But I suspect that that's going to uh, 
change in the next few months, particularly with the P, uh, CPI numbers being pressured down by lower uh, increases in the owner's equivalent rent numbers.